rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Shall come to thee, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you sent John to preach repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you gather your people from every place they are scattered. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you will show forth your splendor to all the earth. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. In a few moments of silence, let us lift up to God our personal prayers and intentions. As we keep in our prayers the eternal repose of the soul of Mary Jane Van Thine, for whom this Mass is being offered. Almighty God, who commands us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly precision who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, bless, bless the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, oh, bless, bless the Lord, Lord my soul. soul. 
Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless, bless the Lord, Lord my, my soul. soul. Convey may the Lord bless your heart and this, that you may be worthy to proclaim the goodness and the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my yoke is easy and my burden light. Come to think of it, is there really a burden that is light or a yoke, a problem, a suffering that is easy? Let me offer two reflections on this word of Jesus. My yoke is easy. My yoke is easy. You know what yoke is, right? I mean, in the original Greek text, the word used for easy is krestos. Krestos. Easy krestos in Greek. And what this Greek word krestos really means is well fitted or tailored fit or made to fit that means to say the yoke is easy because it fits you it does not mean that it is lightweight but it means it is easy because it perfectly fits us it is Pay Lord to us. It is made to fit us. The cross, the problems that we have are not beyond our capacity. Whatever problems and trials that we have right now, we can bear them because they are made for us. They are fitted to us. They are not light but they are not happy to. They are just the right cross for you. And I'm telling you, you can handle them. You can handle them. God will not give you a cross that you cannot carry. Second thing, it is said that in ancient Palestine, during the time of Jesus, the oxen were often yoked together. Two oxen were paired by one yoke. Two oxen shared the same yoke. It was easy this way. For two oxen to pull a heavy load, then just one ox 
doing the job. Jesus was saying, my yoke is easy because we are yoked to Jesus. We are sharing the burden of the cross with Jesus. You and Jesus are pulling the weight of the heavy cross together, together. And if you become tired and weak, you can always rely that Jesus will pull the weight of the cross for you. Do you remember that story? It's an old story. That is always, it always fascinates me. The story of the footprints in the sand. Remember? Footprints in the sand. The man was complaining to Jesus because he noticed that there is only one pair of footprints in the sand during the most difficult moments of his life. And he was thinking Jesus abandoned him. But Jesus told him, No, my son, those two friends, those two friends that you saw, they were mine. They were mine. I was carrying you. I was carrying you. My yoke is easy. Because we have Jesus as our partner in carrying our cross. His strength will make up for our lack of strength. His strength will give us rest. His strength will help us carry our burden. Please stand as we now pray for one another, for the church, and for the world. Our response is, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. For all awaiting the healing of their bodies, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For focus on Christ coming into our lives, despite the pressures of commercialism, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For those who are weary in their daily labors and desire rest, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For those who are unemployed or underemployed, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For all suffering from the sickness of addiction and for their loved ones, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And for the repose of the soul of Mary Jane Van Thine, whom we remember at this Eucharist, Come, Lord Jesus, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking 
or the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
part of Christ. The part of Christ. The part of Christ. The part of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, bring the love of Christ to all those you serve. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. By the power of God, cast into her Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Close the path.
Good morning. 